Cynthia, I'm doing this little tutorial video to show you how you can handle the videos from your outsourcer. Um, I have a folder where I have a bunch of uh, videos that were created and uploaded and what I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend that I want to zip these up and send them to you. So I'm just going to um, highlight one of the videos and then use my shift key and click and highlight you know down here and it'll grab all of these videos at once and highlight them then I'm gonna right click and in Windows I don't know how this would work on a Mac but in Windows you can right click and as soon as this pops up there's this in Windows there's this feature um, right here send to compressed zipped folder so I'm just gonna click that and give it a little time. This just, it'll compress these files and it'll make a really, really small file. Um, it just kind of packages these like in a suitcase and it puts them in there really tight and you'll have a really small file to send. We'll try to send it via email, but um, give you a couple of options. Okay, so that's done. Um, let me refresh. I'm just going to hit F5, function 5. And let me make this a little wider. You can see this little stack of books right here. And notice the extension on the file is .zip. So in Gmail, you can actually, let me compose an email to you. Ah, can't type. Um, and what I'm going to do is try to attach that file to an email and so just do attach file and then I have to navigate um, actually it's under my documents uh, video maker FX oh, nope it's not it's under this folder. Hold on, bear with me. Video Maker FX exported videos and then that zip file might be at the bottom. Here it is right here. I'm just going to attach it. If the file is too big, you'll get this message right here. The file you're trying to send exceeds 25 megabytes. But it says don't worry, you can send it using Google Drive. So um, you can click send using Google Drive. This is all free and it's part of Gmail. And so then you would hit this upload button and then select files from your computer. And again, you'll have to go find that that spot. Uh, Video Maker FX, exported videos, the zip file right here. Click open and then click upload and I'm going to copy myself on this email so I can show you what what you would do when you receive it give this a little time to upload um, while that's uploading I'm going to pop over here to Team Wukar and show you um, where you would or how you would upload these in case you don't know so you would go to traffic rotator and then like if you're doing BA videos you would click BA videos else customer videos and then as soon as you get in here in the black section the very last line right here you want to click this link that's out here to the right and here is where you can you know you'll have your list of keywords and a notepad file that you sent to your person and you'll paste in the phrase in this box 
and then actually you can hit home and it'll take you to the front so you can see what the front is and then you would browse for that file and submit it and so you just keep doing that over and over and over okay let me go back to Gmail see how we're doing it's still uploading okay while I'm waiting I'm gonna open up YouTube and get ready to upload this video that I'm making for you just trying to take advantage of every minute <laughs> Um, that's really cool that you have someone that you can trust and work with. Um, I, you know, I'm sure there's other people who would like to do that. If your person is looking for more work and they're trustworthy, I might like to use them too one day. Okay, how we doing here? Um, I can show you this. Um, so let's just say that that you're your person has uploaded the zip file and you'll get an email with a link and it'll download so I'm gonna actually copy this zip file into um, some folder let me just find a, a new folder I'm just gonna create something like on my temp drive um, so you'll you'll download that zip file to some folder on your computer and then here's what you do once you have the zip file in your hand you right click on it and you go to extract files um, yours may not look exactly like this I have a, a free tool called WinRAR W-I-N-R-A-R -R, but, but Windows has a default extractor so just look for something that says extract files and it'll ask you where or you can like in this case I have extract here which will just put those files right in this folder so it just it takes the files out of that suitcase if you will and puts them back in your computer okay so there you go then you could you could copy these somewhere else or you could upload them right from this folder uh, into Team Wukar. I'm going to just delete all this stuff out for right now. I don't need it. Okay, let's go back to Gmail, see how we're doing. And by the way, you can, um, when the zip file is created, you can right click on it and rename it and maybe you'll put something like, you know, Cynthia and the date um, 12.04.14 or something like that. You can rename the file. I just hit F5 to refresh and so um, you know maybe you can keep your list of keywords by date as well and you can kind of stay organized that way. Okay so I'm going to copy myself on this. Um, and I'm going to send this off the drive file isn't shared with all recipients change how this file is shared anyone with link can um, can view or I'm going to just say can edit which I'm going to say recipients of this email can edit and you have to have a, a Google account a Gmail account this this should give it the most possible privileges um, okay so we'll click share and send and then let's see what happens so I'll, this is what would happen to your outsourcer they'll receive this video and they'll be able to download this file by clicking the arrow and they'll be able to s save file somewhere on their computer um, mine goes there's a download button here in Firefox mine goes into my downloads folder I can right click and say open containing folder and so it goes into this path that's up here um, see users Kirkland Enterprises downloads um, for me it might go somewhere else for for you but or your person but 
they should know how to handle downloaded files. So here it is right here. And this is where I would do the extract files. Okay, so that should work for you. Hopefully, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, I'm going to stop this recording and get it over to you. Bye for now.